This thoroughly updated version of Audi's 5th generation B9 Series A4 continues to provide a very credible alternative to close rivals in the mid-sized premium executive segment. There's a touch more styling personality, an even more sophisticated cabin and mild hybrid engine tech. In other words, an extra dose of Vorsprung der Technik. In terms of what's been changed here, the key thing is Audi's adoption of mild hybrid engine technology almost right across the board, with a 12-volt MHEV setup provided for virtually all the brand's four-cylinder engines. Otherwise, the engineering of this Mark 5 A4 is much as it was when we first saw it back in 2015, which means it's still primarily a front or four-wheel drive car in a segment dominated by rear-driven rivals. This hasn't held this Audi back too much in the past, and we don't expect that to be much of an issue with this facelifted 5th generation B9 series model either. Potential buyers of this car tend to prioritise comfort and refinement rather than on-the-limit handling, and the A4 continues to deliver impressively in both of these areas. The only real caveat here lies with the firmer sport suspension that you have to have with the S-Line trim level that most customers choose. Try before you buy, is our advice. We mentioned the mild hybrid engine tech. The only power plant that doesn't get it is the older tech 2-litre diesel unit fitted to the 40 TDI Quattro derivative, the 190 PS model we happen to be trying here. Otherwise, the MHEV system features on all the four-cylinder power plants, incorporating an integrated BAS belt alternator starter generator that powers a 12-volt main electrical setup in which a compact lithium-ion battery in the boot stores energy harvested via a Kurs Kinetic Energy Recovery System. Audi expects a strong seller to be the entry-level A435 TFSI petrol variant, which now gets a 150 PS 2-litre TFSI unit and is the only one in the range that can be had with a manual gearbox. In S-Tronic Auto form, an A435 TFSI is capable of 42.8 miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle and up to 126 grams per kilometre of any DC-rated CO2. The same 2-litre TFSI engine is offered in 190 PS form in the 40 TFSI and in 245 PS guise in the 45 TFSI Quattro. Diesel buyers are offered the Volkswagen Group's newest 2-litre TDI unit in 136 PS form in the base 30 TDI derivative or in 163 PS guise in the mid-range 35 TDI model that many A4 customers will want. Diesel also now powers the sporting S4 model, which now uses a 347 PS 3 litre twin turbo six cylinder unit, which has the more advanced 48 volt MHEV system and is boosted by an electric compressor. It's always difficult to update someone else's work, but Audi head of design Mark Lichter has addressed the task purposefully with this B9 series fifth generation A4, leaving only the roof, the bonnet and the boot lid of Wolfgang Egger's original shape untouched. The previous car was classy, but there was nothing particularly memorable about it. The saloon and Avant versions of this updated model have a bit more pavement presence. As ever though, with an Audi, it's the interior that'll really sell you this car. Let's check it out. Despite recent advances made by direct rivals, in many ways this remains the defining interior of its class, with cabin quality that's still unbettered in this segment and the cool, classy feel that's distinctive to this Ingolstadt brand. Uh, the key change here is the addition of this now much larger 10.1 inch center dash infotainment screen with its more sophisticated graphics, acoustic touch functionality and natural language voice control. Unfortunately, you don't now get the useful rotary controller that operated the previous MMI system, but navigation's now standard, as are a wider range of cutting-edge Audi Connect media features. Plus, unlike direct rivals, Audi won't make you pay more for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto smartphone mirroring. 
you're positioned almost faultlessly on supportive heated seats in front of the best digital dash in the segment, the 12.3 inch Audi virtual cockpit screen, now fitted as standard throughout the range. Wherever you look, touch or feel, there are treats, buttons click nicely, uh, column stalks feel good, and the lower end plastics you'd find further down in most premium rivals are noticeable by their absence. Time to take a seat in the rear, accessed via these wide opening doors with low sills. In comparison to previous generation A4s, Audi improved the rear passenger compartment of the original version of this fifth generation model by lengthening the wheelbase by 12mm, freeing up 23mm more legroom. But that's still only just enough for a tall adult to sit behind an equally lofty driver, and wouldn't be were it not for these scalloped front seat backs. Time to take a look out back. Avant estate models get a standard electrically operated tailgate and with both body styles the optional advanced key package allows you to open either the boot lid or the hatch by waving your foot below the bumper should you be approaching your A4 laden down with bags. This car's conventional mechanism flips the trunk to reveal a 480 litre boot. The Avant estate model would give you 505 litres. And in summary well, even more than before, this A4 feels like a car that's been lovingly and very carefully considered. The depth of engineering and the thought that's gone into the tiniest details combine to further enhance the warm, fuzzy feeling that's charmed Audi customers for years. If you're one of those people, then you'll like this car very much. And even if you're not, you'll find it hard not to be impressed by the way that it systematically ticks almost every box on the mid-sized executive market wish list. It's very thorough and very Audi.